Create a dashboard so you can see and interact with all your views in one place. Choose from the many dashboard size options. Device-specific layouts can be added and customized as well. To keep objects from overlapping, select a tiled layout. Alternatively, select a floating layout. A best practice is to add horizontal and vertical layout containers to the dashboard and then to place related sheets and other objects within them. Click over to the Layout pane to locate the item hierarchy. The item hierarchy shows the organizational structure of the objects within the dashboard. Use the item hierarchy to easily select dashboard objects. Remove unnecessary and redundant objects. By default, a filter only applies to the worksheet from which it came. Modify a filter's settings to apply the filter to additional worksheets. Then confirm that the filtering is working as expected. Repeat this process for other filters. Drag filters to rearrange their order. Drag one layout container into another layout container to reposition all of its objects. Add context and interactivity to your dashboard by using actions. Add a filter action so that selecting a state on the map will filter the text table and area charts to reflect only that state. Choose whether to show or hide individual worksheet titles within the dashboard. Edit titles to change their wording. In addition to static text, insert dynamic text to provide more meaningful worksheet titles. Save the completed dashboard. Close the workbook to leave edit mode. 